today we're going to be working with boxes. We teach our puppies to get all four feet in a box to help them learn body awareness and how to uh, be safe with their bodies. So Hops here is going to first demonstrate Reese getting in this box. He is a pro at this. Good boy, Reese. So he understands how to pull his feet together, Reese, and get all four feet in this little box. Good boy, Reese. As the dogs get better at the trip, we make it more difficult. Good boy. And they have to try even harder to get all four feet in. Good boy. Too hard? Good. Good boy, good. And I'm going to praise him for his attempts. Good boy. Good boy, that was pretty close. Good job, Pops. Get it. And I'm also going to reward the younger dogs for being calm and quiet. Good puppies. This puppy is going to be learning how to get into a box. So she's already learned that interacting with uh, objects get her cookies. So I am going to reward anything that has to do with going toward or looking at the box. I'm going to try not to lure her. I'm going to wait for her to offer behaviors. Release! And then click to tell her that that is a good behavior and then give her a cookie to reward that. Good girl. Release. Good puppy. Release. And the other boys, other dogs, get cookies for doing good behaviors. Good girl. Release. And as she gets better at this, I'm just going to wait for her to get all four feet in the box before I reward. Good girl, good puppy. Good job. And then a more complex version is going to be running through the box. So I'm going to change my location of reward and toss her treat after she gets her feet in the box. Good girl, good puppy, very good puppy, good job, good girl. Sapporo has done so good with the big box, we are going to try a smaller box this time. So I'm again going to wait for her to approach the box. And this box is much smaller, so I might have to reward just her attempting to get feet in. And back feet are typically harder than front feet for dogs. So I'm going to try to reward even when she thinks about those back feet. Good girl. Good puppy. Release. <laughs> and sometimes they are ready before you are. Good. Good puppy. Good puppy. I can change my placement of reward and kind of where I hold my cookies. If I need the back feet in, I can move away from her a little bit and that'll bring her toward me. If I need her to move away from me, I can move toward her and put a little bit of pressure on her. So I can kind of shift around a little bit to give her space or take away some space to get her to shift around a little bit. Good puppy. If you do too much just luring, the dogs don't always know what their body is doing. So I might be able to get her feet in the box, but she might not understand what her body is doing if she's just blindly following the cookie. So I'm going to wait for her to offer behaviors <laughs> and click and reward. <laughs> Good opportunity to reward the other dogs. And you can also see this is a good, it's your choice moment that she can sit or going for the dish 
And if she does that, I just cover it up, remind her that that is not an option for her and reward her when she makes the choice to leave the dish alone. And then we'll go back to the shaping, waiting for her to offer to put food in that box. And at some point, she'll be able to get all four feet in that little box. Good puppy, good girl. 